What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a very creepy, very cool ghost voice effect. These effects are going to be done using Audacity, which is a free audio editing software, and you can download it from the link below. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to pull this off, so listen closely to these two examples and see which one best fits your needs. For the first version, you're going to want to perform this in a whispered voice. Make sure you enunciate all of the words clearly so that you can understand them after we're done editing. This is what my audio sounds like before editing. I know you're in there. You can't hide from me. I can hear you. So for the first step, we're going to do noise reduction. Come up here to your audio track and find a spot where there's no talking on the audio. Once you have it selected, come up here to effect, come down to noise removal and repair and click noise reduction. It's gonna pop up this window here and you're just gonna click get noise profile. Now what that does is just pick up the audio from this little clip and it's gonna use that to judge what it needs to filter out for the rest of the audio. Now you're gonna select the whole track, come back up to effect, go back down to noise removal and repair again and click noise reduction. These settings should work fine. I have my noise reduction to 12, my sensitivity to six, and my frequency smoothing bands to three. That should work fine. We're gonna push okay. And now if we play it back, we'll be able to hear a difference. I know you're in there. For the next step, we're gonna take this whole track and we're gonna duplicate it. You can duplicate by pressing control D or command D on Mac, or you can come up here to edit and click this. Now with two layers, we're gonna select one of them. Doesn't matter which one. Select the whole layer, come up here to effect, and then we're gonna come down here to pitch and tempo over here on the right, click reverse. Now that our audio is flipped around, we're gonna come back up to effect with the track still selected, and then we're gonna come down to delay and reverb. Select reverb. Right here, you can go ahead and go to presets and settings, factory presets. I'm gonna use church hall. You can use any of these presets or you can alter the settings by yourself and find something that suits you best. Once you have it all set up, go ahead and press apply. Now with the same reverb track, we're gonna come back up here to effect, come down to pitch and tempo, and then come back to reverse. Now the next step we're gonna do is come to this first layer that we have not edited yet and duplicate it one more time. So now we'll select this top track, come up here to effect, then come down to pitch and tempo. We're gonna change the pitch. Now we're gonna come down here to the percent change and we're gonna put 20. Go ahead and press apply. Next for the one unedited track we have now, go ahead and select it, come up to effect, come down to pitch and tempo, change pitch. This one, we're gonna put negative 20. So now go ahead and give your track a listen. Perfect, so the next thing you can do is you can come over here to the gain, this minus and plus on the side, and you can mess with those. Usually what I would tend to do is drop the main tracks, the un the unreverbed tracks. I would drop them down a couple decibels, maybe down to negative eight for each of them, and then I'm gonna bump up the reverb maybe to five, and we'll listen to it one more time. All right, so for the second version of this effect, when you perform the effect, you're going to want to whisper again. When you do the voice, do the same whisper as before, but this time you're going to make a low growly sound from the back of your throat. And you're going to talk like this. So let's go ahead and give a listen to this before we start it. I know you're in there. You can't hide from me. Okay, perfect. So now you just do the same steps that we did on the first voice. So for this second effect, we're actually not going to do negative 20 and positive 20 for the pitches for these two voices. You're going to come to this original track, go to effect, go to pitch and tempo, change pitch. This one is actually going to be negative 40, negative 40. Now you're going to come down to the reverb track and do the same thing. Effect, pitch and tempo, change pitch, negative 40, apply. And then for this top track, what we're gonna do is go to effect once more, come down to pitch and tempo, change pitch. This one we're gonna do positive 30. And now for this one leftover track, we're gonna select it, go to effect, come down to pitch and tempo, change pitch. This one we're gonna only do negative 10, apply. 
Now let's go ahead and give that a listen. I know you're in there. You can't hide from me. I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Now that we're done, we can come over here and mess with the gain once more to get that desired effect you're looking for. That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a thing or two also. I have some other audio editing tutorials on my channel that you may want to check out, as well as some other content that may interest you. Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky!